Hello everyone and welcome to iBasic. I think that's how you pronounce it now. Now if you don't know what iBasic means, it stands for it beats as it sweeps as it cleans, which was an old slogan that Hoover used all around the world, certainly in the UK and USA, to describe the action of their upright vacuum cleaner. So there you go, that's what my channel name means. And from the company that created my channel name, we have a bagged cylinder vacuum the Hoover Telios, this is model TE70, TE12001. Right, now I got this because it was on sale from the Argos shop on eBay. And it was only £35 delivered. So I thought, you know, Hoover aren't what they used to be. But I found, I've done the Eco-G version of this quite a while ago and I was pretty impressed with it. Now it depends on the nozzle this comes with because the Eco-G came with a decent nozzle. If this comes with one of the dreaded H-Lab nozzles, I won't be too happy. It's a AAA rated vacuum. A for energy, A for hard floor cleaning and A for emissions. Probably I think gets a C for dust pickup. Ah, that's good. Oh, I wouldn't have minded so much if it came with the HLAB nozzle, but it doesn't. So that's a thumb up. Let's just um, check the old energy label. Now this is an older model. It was on clearance. I believe now there is the Enigma one, which has replaced it. But this still complies to the latest EU regulations that came in 2017. So as I said, it's an A rating for energy use using on average 27 kilowatt hours per annum. A for dust emission. Uh, it's a D for carpet cleaning. An A for hard floor and 76 decibels. So it comes under the maximum 80 decibels that's now allowed for vacuum cleaners sold in the EU. That's quite a sturdy wand, metal. But I think for £35, really, oops, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, that's good value. Oh, no, that does come off. I thought I'd just broken it. That's part of the packaging. You'd think that uh, it looked like it belonged to that, but no, that's part of the packaging. I was, I was uh, praising it and then it broke in my hands, but no, it didn't. Uh, right, that's a little bit stiff, but that will loosen up. But that does feel, it's a good quality metal telescopic tube that now this is the nozzle I'm not sure if I've had this nozzle before it does say H lab on it but it's nothing like the appalling H lab nozzle I got with the Hoover Spritz and the Hoover Idol both well the Idol especially was pretty poor I've still got both those cleaners this is a newer design you've got a little parking bracket on the back two wheels metal sorry not metal non-metal base plate again for what i paid i mean these would have retailed for around 90 pounds full price so i'm not complaining at 35 pounds but this one does actually have quite a nice easy to operate control to lower a brush at the front it doesn't stick out very much it's hard to see there we go a brush at the front, little litter picker at the back, and those are soft, quite a very soft squeegee at the back. I'm wondering if this comes with a dedicated hard floor head, or whether this All Floors Pro nozzle gets the A rating, because sometimes they supply separate nozzles to get the uh, ratings up. Now, that's very short, I think that's about one and a half metre hose and it feels quite rigid don't know why they need to put the uh, packaging on but never mind yeah it's just you know bog standard hose really oh, it does swivel it's a little bit stiff it should swivel if it swivels the cleaner end it should swivel yeah it swivels the handle end it's nice Fairly comfortable to hold handle. Got a little textured piece here. And it's textured underneath. And of course you've got your 
suction relief valve but there will be electronic control on this cleaner as well to reduce the suction but that's useful if you want to reduce the suction briefly and then close it like that okay so here's the cleaner itself i do like the white now this i haven't opened it at the time of making this video but uh, one of my subscribers mark kindly gave me the uh, red and white pure power for christmas if you want to check my christmas day unboxing extravaganza you'll see that um i unwrapped anyway the hoover pure power and i think they match i think they're the same color scheme so they will look quite nice together I do like the Telios. I mean, I've got quite a few of the older versions that were made in Cambuslang, Scotland. But for a more modern Hoover cleaner, for one of the newer ones, I've always thought I was impressed with the EcoG version. I thought it was a pretty robust little cleaner. And I do like the styling of these. It's very nice. And so far I've not seen anything similar. Sometimes you see Hoover cleaners that are branded Hoover, but you find them in other countries on different websites and they're branded something else. So you're thinking, oh, they're not designed by Hoover. This could well be a Hoover design. And they still use, you know, the nice Hoover roundel here, which I do like, it's a nice touch. So here it is, we've got um, onboard tools, none of those silly tools that are stored on the hose or the tube. You've actually got a nice little container for this and I do like the tools supplied now it's got a very ridiculous I mean that possibly wins the prize for the shortest ever crevice tool <laughs> that is very very short you'll get your nooks cleaned possibly but your crannies will remain filthy with that nozzle I think whoops as far as I know they're normal standard 32 millimeter diameter so you could possibly put other tools with this but to make it fit, you're going back in your thing now, stop misbehaving. To make it fit, obviously it's tiny. I don't mind this dusting brush, medium soft. They're not, they're not sort of as hard as say the dusting brush on the Pure Power, but they're not so soft. I'd, I wouldn't use it on anything too delicate, but they're okay for your blinds and your things like that. It's okay, at least it's a separate dusting brush and well, not one of those combined things, which I don't like on the whole some of the combined tools are okay and you've got a uh, pretty standard upholstery nozzle we've got dual litter pickers it's quite a nice looking nozzle that i preferred the nozzle that came with the original telios that was an excellent nozzle but that's okay you've got a piston operated bag check indicator that obviously shows through when the covers close is that going to close you have to make sure everything's properly in place oh there we go sorry about that uh, yes yeah, so you've got your bag check indicator that gives you a rough guide that will fluctuate in use quite a small hole there so you can't really notice it it's always best to check the bags manually you know just open up the, con the bag compartment from time to time you've got your slide minimum to max no markings no suggested uh, settings it's just you know it's your own experience tells you which settings best but most people use it on maximum most of the time unless they're cleaning like the curtains and they might shove it down to a minimum and possibly sort of halfway if you're doing your upholstery this is the um, grill that's got an epa filter <laughs> i can't remember what that stands for i remember reading some comment that they bought a hoover upright and it said epa filter and they thought the h had rubbed off but no um, it, it is supposed to say EPA, EPA, not HEPA. So, underneath, and again, the plastic on this, that feels good quality plastic. Now, if Hoover were making machines all like this quality in China, if the Pure Power felt as rigid and solid as this, then it would be a good machine. The Pure Power is okay. I mean, it's one of the few bagged cleaners you can still buy bagged upright cleaners certainly on a budget but its uh, build quality is fairly poor we've got your HEPA filter there or EPA filter sorry I assume that'll be washable the motor's all 
in the hut inside here but say it's it's under the 80 decibels so it shouldn't be too noisy this one i would like them to go a bit further reducing the decibel level which way that's it because 80 decibels is certainly quieter than a lot of vacuums used to be but i have got vacuums that are well under 70 decibels so it's possible to make a quiet cleaner hang on there we are there's your parking slot on the back for your main nozzle there's a helpline here let us help i haven't shown you the bag so you've got a big open symbol here open sesame to reveal another epa bag and these seem pretty good that is a very thick bag still got cardboard collar unlike Mila's that have and Mila's and Sibos that have a plastic collar but I suppose it's a little bit more environmentally friendly at least that will break down in landfill I'm not sure about this bag though with how long that will last it's an H60 bag that's a reasonable size for a compact vacuum and of course I won't pull it fully but that will when you you're supposed to when you remove it from the cleaner that's broken but that is supposed to seal close it automatically when you take it out there's a pre-motor filter here oops it pulls out there which I assume I can wash and of course the motor is just there located at the back so you know for 35 pounds, I haven't switched it on, but for 35 pounds, I think the quality is pretty good. Obviously it wouldn't have sold for 35 pounds normally. But yes, I think 80 to 90 pounds would have been a fair price for this. You can get much cheaper vacuums, but uh, for under 100 for a bagged cylinder, it's not bad. There is a, I don't know if you quite see it, down here there's the uh, suction relief valve which will cut off should the bag be full and you don't notice it or you have a blockage. Okay, so I'll just put the bag back, arrows facing downwards and obviously if you try and use it without a bag, can't close the bag door. But I've seen on Facebook, I follow a few sort of vacuum store uh, posts on Facebook and they sometimes show the sort of vacuums they get in to fix. And there was one um, company who had a Miele to look at and they'd used it, managed to use it without a bag. It was absolutely full of muck. Ludicrous. Anyway, obviously you have to make sure that that's all tucked in and not trapped around. There's a nice seal all the way around there. And that closes. I, I do like, I like it. And it's very manoeuvrable, the Telios. Two big buttons. There's the on off. Auto cord rewind, it's one of those thin cables. We don't know the wattage of this yet, do we? We'll check, probably about 700, I'm not sure. Whoops, it's a good strong cable rewind. And that's another thing I like to see that even some more expensive vacuums don't do. There is a little metal bar here, so I've often had second-hand vacuums that um, around the area where you pull out the cord, the plastic has got little gouges in it because of the times the cord has rubbed against it. But this, that's why they put this metal bar in. So it's unlikely during the life of the appliance that metal bar is going to wear down. The appliance won't last as long if it's to be used, you know, as a regular vacuum. But it's nice to see. Sometimes on cheaper vacuums, you might see a little plastic roller there but it's still better than having the plastic damaged on the casing. So I like that. So it's just a little thing, but little things please little minds, as they say. So there we are. Let's have a quick look underneath. It is light as a feather, really. Hmm. Bit noisy, isn't it? Not like a Miele. But again, this, feels okay for a Chinese assembled manufactured vacuum certainly the bottom casing this dark plastic casing that's it seems strong I think it would take a bit of bashing before it's uh, damaged it is 700 watts here is another this is more of the storage bracket so you can put uh, the uh, main carpet and floor nozzle on there obviously oh, oh I was going to say is it damaged but 
Didn't notice that at the time. It isn't damaged, but that's, there's a little cut out there for some reason. I don't know why that would be. There's no, doesn't seem to be any reason for it. But yay, there we go. That would fit like that. I'm really pleased with this. Nice big wheels at the back as well. And they're fairly smooth running. And, wow, they've even got a tyre on them. They're not just hard plastic. That has got a separate... Yes, I think it is. It's a separate rubber tyre. Well, maybe not be made of rubber, but it's certainly a softer material than the plastic here, so it protects your hard floors. Right, quick look at the label, and then we'll turn this bad boy on. So it's Hoover Model TE70, TE1201, is that? And the serial is 39001418 1551. And there's some more numbers, so 765, so it's 220, 240 volt, 50 hertz, 700 watt, double insulated. It's got the CE mark and the, the bin mark, which means don't throw it in the regular rubbish. Hoover Limited, Merthyr UK, made in PRC. Okay, time for the switch on. <laughs> Now, for a 700 watt motor, that is pretty good. I would say, judging by my um, knowledge and experience, that does feel stronger than my SIBO. I've got some SIBOs at 700 watts and they do feel a bit lackluster when it comes to suction. I wouldn't have thought I'd be saying that a Chinese made Hoover would have more suction than a German made SIBO, but there you go. I haven't obviously got any equipment to test that theory I'm just going by my um, memory of the thing but yeah oh it's a I do like it I would still recommend the Telios maybe not for pets but if you've got um, if you just got a small house and you've got mainly hard floors or just a few rugs I think for the a budget priced bagged cleaner they're not bad at all you know it's amazing how the same company can produce some things that are pretty poor and others that are, you know, bordering on decent. Let's see if it's got soft start. I've got it on max. No, no, no soft start. It's got an odd smell about it. Can't really describe it. Anyway, there we are. So see how it parts this clips into there that's it yeah right I'll just uh, run it quickly over the carpet if you want to see a more detailed demonstration of the eco G version that's on my channel it'd be under my Hoover vacuum playlist um, but this is a lower wattage it, although it was sold as an eco G I think it was um, maybe of 1200 or even a 1400 watt because back in the day, eco was considered eco if it was sort of, you know, 12 to 1400 watts when we were having vacuums at that time up to 2300 watts in some cases. But for a 700 watt vacuum cleaner, you know, I think it's a very, very good suction. <laughs> It's a bit hard to push on maximum, so I think I would have to lower the power a bit, certainly until the bag gets fuller. I'm not sure about the loss of suction on these. It did have a good quality bag. Bagged vacuum cleaners have come a long way since uh, the bagless revolution. The old fashioned bagged cleaners used to have a single layered paper bag, which did clog up pretty quickly and the efficiency of a vacuum would reduce within a few uses, but it would still be picking up. But with the new pepper style bags, the new fleece bags, 
they do keep the suction a lot longer. So that's one of the arguments of bagless. They don't lose suction, but they do. Yes, bagged cleaners do lose suction as well, but they tend on the whole to have more suction power than the bagless equivalent for the same motor wattage. For example, if you were to take a 700 watt bagged vacuum cleaner and put it up against a 700 watt bagless, in most cases, you'll find that the bagged cleaner has more suction power to start with. The bagless machines, of course, have cyclones and the suction efficiency can be reduced, but uh, they're a lot more simpler, the bagged machines. I prefer, personally, I've always preferred a bagged cleaner. If I could only have one vacuum cleaner, it would be a bagged machine. Go on. All in all though, for £35, even if you were to get one of these for around 80 to 90 for a budget priced bagged vacuum cleaner, and budget to me is under £100, you can get one for about £40, but if you can stretch a bit further than £40, I would say look at the Telios or the very similar Hoover Enigma, which is still a current model, but I haven't tested the latest machine. But um, I assume it'll be the same sort of build quality as this, which, as I said earlier, for a Chinese-made Hoover, the build quality on this Telios is pretty good. Thanks for watching. More Hoover vacuums, more Dyson vacuums, more SIBO vacuums, more Miele vacuums, lots more vacuums to come on my channel over the next few months. If you have any questions or comments about this Hoover Telios, please ask in the comments section below. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.